Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. At the end of each month, I like to stop by and share with you a look at what my subscribers have sent to my P.O. Box. Sometimes these are show us your sheet load cards, other times they're just because. If you ever want to send me a card, I do have my P.O. Box address at the bottom of the description box below. If you want to show us your sheet load and share a card using the latest sheet load of cards, I do also have a video link down there where it tells you the different ways you can do that. Whether you share online, in the Facebook group, or send in a card for the end of the month video. I always love to see what you are creating. And speaking of seeing creations, don't forget to check out what my creative team and our July 2021 guest artist created with the sheet load. You can click on the playlist link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and see what's in the envelopes. Before I get to opening that mail, I did have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level members, Jean M and Fraulein Aired Barely. And thank you as well to all of my channel members. Your support helps keep me creating here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all subscribers. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of membership, you can click on the join button below this video or the link in the description box below. This first card came from Caroline K of California. It was a beautiful just because card with a nice note inside. I love the yellow and that pattern paper with the coordinating ephemera. Up next is a card from Charlene J of North Carolina. She used the June 2024 layout to create this Just a Note card. I love that purple background and the butterfly paper. This beautiful hello card came from Tiffany G of Virginia. I love the floral paper and her metallic embellishments there on the front. Tiffany, if you're watching this, I'm going to reach out via email about the enclosure and the note inside your card. You might have noticed that Tiffany's card was a fun fold, and so is this card from Connie U of Nevada. Loving the gorgeous florals with the blue paper, and especially how she has added the extra floral stamps and die cuts to the focal point. She used the layout from the June 2022 sheet load of cards. Next up was this beautiful and bright card from Mary B of Washington. She used the latest sheet load of cards, July 2024, to create this fun 5x7 card. And so you could see all of the sparkle and shimmer on the bow and the ice cream, I took this little video. And last but not least was a package from Kathy of California, and it was packed full of crafty goodness. First of all, Kathy, thank you so much for the great note. I loved getting to know a little bit more about you, and thank you for your support as a channel member. Now let's take a look at all the little goodies she shared with me. First up are some faceted gems from Stampin' Up! These will always come in handy to add some bling to my cards. And speaking of bling, the festive pearls. I love that blue color and the metallics. Here is a paper pad that she says is retired. It is called Flowers for Every Season. Let's flip through it. Absolutely gorgeous, and I can see all of the different seasons and flowers there. And speaking of seasons, here are some snowflake embellishments in white, gold, and kind of an orangey metallic. 
This is called Fully Flowering Ephemera Pack. Let's see what these look like. Ooh, they're a variety. I thought maybe all the sheets were the same. Super pretty. So it looks like there are two of each sheet. I like how they leave you some you can color, but you know me, I might do like a colorful background and then do the image and just leave that image in black and white. So pretty and they just punch out real easily it looks like. And another paper pack. This one is called Bright and Beautiful 6x6. Six six. Ooh, some pretty like watercolor look papers. Those will be so fun to make cards with. Thank you so much, Kathy, for all the fun little goodies. If any of you watched last month's Show Us Your Sheet Load slash Happy Mail video, I did get a couple gifts that I came back later in the month and did a live with where I created something live. If you would like to see me do that same thing using some of Kathy's goodies, let me know down in that comment section. Thanks to everyone who took the time to send me in a card or a note, and especially to Kathy for the fun crafty goodies. Thank you to all of you for taking the time to watch today's video, and until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above, and if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.